we saw the defense. We saw the timely hitting. We saw the power. It was everything. And they take four from the Astros. And Dero, Aaron Judge really didn't do much offensively in this series. I'm overreacting, Robert. That lineup's completely different. It is. I'm sitting there over the weekend watching this series, and your mind starts to drift. Volpe looks different. Mm -hmm. They got some left-handed bats in Oswaldo this lineup. Oswaldo Cabrera. That are, yeah, they got some guys off the bench. It looks different without Garrett Cole. Marcus Stroman has a chance to win like 18 to 20 games, keeping them in the ballpark with a little sink, a little cut. Rodon, go get it, because you know your offense is going to score runs, and they're going to pass the baton. And sometimes we sit there, we all play GM at home, and everyone was saying it makes so much sense for the Yanks to go get Juan Soto. And then they go get him, and you see him in that lineup, and it's like, God, it wasn't hard to imagine. This guy is built for this stage, a monstrous start to his career in the road grays. I want to take you through. You want to indoctrinate yourself to your teammates and have them fall in love? Take me back to Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Lauren just mentioned his defense. Look at the bug. 5-4, ninth inning, one out. We all knew Kyle Tucker was getting a hit right here. Juan Soto is not known for being a great defender, not known for having a great arm, but man, I'm telling you what, run that back for me. If I'm coaching my kids at home like I do the 14U travel team, this is exactly what we work on with the outfielders. You can attack this one of two ways, but it's off to the side. You can give the hop like he's going to give, or you could be a little bit more athletic and give a shuffle. This is textbook stuff. The throw is head high. Anthony Rizzo can cut this if he needs to. Run it. Obviously not cutting it in this moment, but right there, that is perfection. Mm. One hopper to the catcher. Mauricio Dubon, I didn't hate the send from Gary Pettis, and they're going crazy. Take me to Friday. Set the scene, pause it. 1-1, one, one, bases loaded, 3-1, top seven, Aaron Judge is on deck. But you know what I was thinking at this time? I want to be the hero. A lot of guys say that. They come outside themselves and maybe show, maybe swing at something they shouldn't. Watch him spit take this. Run it. Boom. Pass the baton. 2-1. I got the best hitter in baseball following me. I do not have to come outside the zone. And we take the lead in this one. Saturday, I'm sitting at home. Watch this first hack. Look at his reaction. Run that back for me, please. Do you think he thinks that should have went in the second deck pull side? Run it. He's all over this thing. So what does he tell himself? Yup. Looking at Aaron Judge like, pause. We did this with Vladimir Guerrero last week. He took a monster hack right there. He was all over it. He's saying, let me shorten up a little bit, play a little pepper with the baseball. I cannot believe Brian Abreu goes back to the same pitch and kind of leaves it out. But what a swing. Run this. Ooh. The ability to kind of leak his front hip right there. Run that back for me real quick. Soon as this hip starts to leak, pause it. Keep going. Right there, pause. But look at his shoulders. We talk about this all the time. You'll see some guys that land really close with their hip here. You'll see some guys that land a little with a leaky hip. But as long as the upper half and the shoulders are po pointed to the big part of the field, he's still going to create bat path and lag. Run it. Backdoor breaking ball. Paint away. And he keeps it on plane and slaps this ball out mm. over the Crawford boxes. And then this matchup. We talk so much, just real quick, pause, about who controls the at bat. Until I was 30 years old, the pitcher controlled every at-bat I ever took. Then I learned how to... Wait, why? What changed? Well, I learned how to get on my backside and start to drive the ball a little bit more, and I felt like I could control certain at-bats. This screams Josh Hader should control this entire A-B. Left on left, best closer. I don't care that he's one of the best hitters in the game. This is a tough matchup. Watch him completely run this at-bat. 0-1 heater, go. 
Not too many guys are spitting on that. He's point. He look at him. Look at him. Like I'm a gladiator. I'm in the arena. I'm willing to fight. I'm willing to die in this box against you. I think I'm better than you. Mm. Two two great pitch right there. Shaking his head. I'm gonna choke up a little bit more. I'm not going anywhere. Pulled off that a little bit. Still gonna look. Okay. I'm on you. Where are you going now? He needed that pitch right there. He could have locked him up in that spot. Now it's over. I got gotcha. you, because you got nowhere to go. 3-2. Take my time, kick a little dirt, call timeout. I run this at bat. This is my box. I don't need Glaber Torres stealing third for the visual, but he stays on this pitch, heater away. That is ball off. It was the Juan Soto experience in a big way. He has changed the entire lineup. I know it's four games. We're going to overreact, but you can't deny if you were watching this. Bring this up. Highest career on base percentage debut in expansion era. It goes Barry Bonds and Juan Soto. He has changed the way this lineup looks. He's changed the way some of these guys are having ABs. They are grinding you out.